SmartDraw is designed to help you create UML diagrams quickly and easily. You'll get ready-made templates and symbols, as well as tools specifically designed to build the diagram you need. SmartDraw has a number of UML templates located in the UML and Software folder in the Template Browser. You can choose between the UML Activity Diagram, the Class, Communication, Component, Composite, Deployment, Interaction, Package, Sequence, State, or UML Use Case Diagram. Every UML template opens with a specialized UML Smart Panel docked to the left of the work area. This panel has a symbol library with the most common symbols for your chosen UML diagram. It also has tools that will help you build the diagram. You can add a symbol to your drawing by selecting it in the library and then clicking anywhere on the page. You can add more shapes using the traditional drag and drop method. Or, once you've already added a symbol, you can add new ones by drawing a line and choosing a symbol from the auto prompt that appears. Click any of the yellow dots at the perimeter of a shape to start drawing a line and add a new shape from the menu that pops up. This menu is pre populated with the most common symbols for the selected diagram type. The options will change over time to symbols you commonly use, so you'll always have what you need at your fingertips. Many UML diagrams use arrowheads at the end of the line to represent relationships like aggregation, dependency, inheritance, composition, and association for classes, and interface type for components. To show the relationship between classes, select the line and choose the appropriate arrowhead and line style from one of the options under Class Line Style. In UML component diagrams, an interface a small circle or semicircle on a stick describes a group of operations used or created by components. A semicircle represents a required interface like a person's input. A full circle represents an interface created or provided by the component. For other UML diagram types like use case and activity, you can choose from the basic UML line and arrow styles in the line style dropdown. You can reverse the arrows on a line by clicking the Reverse Direction command in the Smart Panel. UML class diagrams often use a multiplicity notation to indicate the number of instances of one class linked to one instance of the other class. For example, one company will have one or more employees, but each employee works for just one company. You can show multiplicity by selecting a line and clicking Add Multiplicities in the Line subsection. This will put a placeholder multiplicity notation at both ends of the selected line. To add text to a shape or a line, select it and start typing. Depending on the type of the shape, your text will appear inside, below, or above the shape. For a line, your text will appear centered on the line. Some shapes will already have text in them. Just double click to edit this text. You can change the font size, font type, color, and alignment in the Home tab. UML objects that specify operations and attributes are depicted as rectangles with rows. You can use the symbols in the UML libraries, or you can make your own by converting a rectangle shape into a table. To do this, select the shape and go to the Table tab and choose the number of columns and rows you want and click Insert Table. The Design tab provides a variety of helpful commands to help you position your objects better. To align a number of class objects to each other, select the objects you want to arrange by clicking on each object in turn while holding down the Shift key. The last object you click has black selection handles and is called the Target Object. When you use the Align commands, all the selected objects will be aligned to the Target Object. You can also make all the selected objects the same size as the target object using the Make Same Size command. UML diagrams can be this easy to create and understand when you're using SmartDraw.